right, so this video is going to show you how to hollow out your clay once it's closer to that leather hard stage. You can tell if it's leather hard if when you press into the clay and you push down, if you don't see your fingerprint in the clay and it's hard to create a dent into the clay, then it's getting to leather hard. If your clay is still at the plastic stage, you can always take some dry paper towel, wrap it up, push it around the clay. That will absorb some of that moisture. Also, just leaving it out for the class period will get it closer to that leather hard stage. What you don't want is to have your clay at bone dry. If it's bone dry, it will start to get really, really light gray and will start to break apart. So we're going to need a wire cutter and the reason that we did this armature is so that if we use the clay at the wet stage and just built it up, hollowing it out along the way, it would collapse underneath its weight. So what we want to do at this time is pull our clay off of our wire. Your clay might come out like this. In that case, you're going to have a uh, pliers that will be available at each of your tables along with a wire cutter. I want you to pull the wire out. All right, so you're going to have your hole. When you push it, um, set it down, it should be able to hold its shape up. If not, then you're going to need to create a little bit more support on the bottom here. So what I want to do next is decide how I'm going to cut this apart. Would it make more sense for me to cut it um, the front and the back? Or would it make more sense to have it cut through? I want you to think about that for a second. I think that having it cut from the front to the back is a better transition than having a line straight through the middle. So what I'm going to do is put my wire at the bottom and slowly pull it up. Until you cut it in half. When you open it up, um, you might see some rust from the wire. That's okay, not a big deal. All of this, it just can be thrown away, all right? The clay on the inside though, this is at a good stage for you to be able to build it to create more um, details. So what you're gonna wanna use is your loop tool. There's two different sides to the loop tool. There's four of these um, for a table. There's a curved and then the squared edge. I wanna use the curved edge. And using your needle tool, create a line about a half an inch around the entirety of your sculpture. You can also test to see thumb thickness. So you see how my thumb is about the same width as this is here? All of this on the inside is what we're going to scoop away. So let's go for it. I want to start to scoop away my clay. You might want to hold it in your hands or create a little cushion for it to hold itself up. And then what you don't want to do is have your clay, I'm sorry, have your sculpture lose its shape and lose its form because you have smashed it against the table. All of these clay schnibbles 
we can use this for building details on. So don't get rid of it. You can kind of pick up your clay like that. And so this is a time where we would fast forward the video. Okay, so the biggest concern at this time then is to check to see the thickness, making sure that it's not too thick um, so that when you put it together, it's gonna still be too wet, but you also don't want it to be too thin. And there's areas where you might need to go a little bit deeper and areas that you might not based off of the shapes that you've combined. So one trick is to take your needle tool and on the hollowed out inside, push your needle through. I have about halfway of my needle and I don't want to see it on the other side. If you continue to push and don't see your needle coming through, you can only see just a very little tip here. That means that this is way too thick and I want to continue to hollow it out. Some of you might have different types of sculptures where it's a little bit more angular. So then you would wanna use the squared end for that. But my shapes are a little bit more curved. The last step before we score it and slip it together, obviously we have to do the other side as well, right? But you want to take the clay and start to almost bend it in because you don't want it to become flat. So remember that we're thinking about it in the round. So I've got my that I've kind of um, sculpted in. All this extra clay, I'll pick that up later. And at this time, we're gonna have to fast forward again. And go through.
Now that I've got my two pieces, we want to make sure that they're going to be lined up. If you don't slip and score something on well enough, then it's going to fall off. So we we'll, can always attach that afterwards. Okay. Now the biggest goal with this is to ensure that we're going to have a seamless transition so that we don't have um, a big gap in between it. All along the edge here, we have to score the outline and of course do that on the other one. And then the last step is to slip it together. Um, I'll show you in another video how to do some final touches and um, how to use some of your leftover clay here for some finishing details. Thanks.